Hello, amazing friends. Let's solve this Harvard entrance exam question together. I tell you it's very simple. And remember, when, what we have here is cubic equation. It's cubic because the highest power of m here is 3. It means we're expected to have three values of m. Now, to do this, we are going to make use of a method. Remember, there are a lot of approaches you can use. But I'm going to show you the simplest method, which is the use of the synthetic division method. Now, let's do it together. But you will notice that we don't have any value of m yet. So we're going to use the trial and error to get one and then use it to get the remaining two. So join me and see how simple it is. So we're going to begin with solution. This is what we have. m cube plus 5m. You would want to remove this. Remember, it's positive. To do that, you subtract, okay? So we're going to subtract 42. And when you subtract here, it becomes zero. So this and this are still the same. Now we're going to ask ourselves question. What numbers can I, what numbers can I assume to be the value of m? So that when I substitute it in this equation, it will be equal to zero. You get those numbers from the numbers that can divide 42. And they are, remember it's negative, so you have negative and positive 1, positive and negative 2, positive and negative 3, and so on. So let's do a test, okay? Let's check for if m is 1, when m is 1, let's substitute here and check if it will give us 0. So we're going to have 1 cube plus 5 into 1 minus 42. You will notice that simplifying this will not be equal to 0. So it means that 1, m being 1, is not what we want. Now what you do again is you can also check for when m is negative 1. Substitute it. We are going to have negative 1 cubed plus 5 into negative 1 minus 42. You also notice that simplifying this will still not be equal to 0. Now you observe that this number is a bit bigger, okay? So what you need to do is to go for a num higher number for the value of m. So in that case, we can choose to check for when m, so we now say let m be equal to, let's check for when it is 3. You can check for 2 in your own and let's know what your thought is in the comments, okay? So let's do for when m is 3. Let's put it here. So we're going to have m, which is now 3. So we have 3 cubed plus 5 into 3 minus 42. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times, and that will give us 27. Then when you add this, it gives you 15 minus 42. And when you add this up, it's going to give us 0. Did you see that? So what it means here is that m being 3 is a solution, okay? is a solution to this. So we can say that m is equal to We've gotten one value of m as 3. So what do you do to the remaining 2? That is where the synthetic division comes in. And let me show you how you are going to work with that method. And remember that for a synthetic division method, it only works with coefficients, okay? Now see what you do. So we're going to have it as... Now this value you have here, you are going to pick their coefficients, okay? The coefficient of m cubed here is 1, so 1 will be inside here. Now, the coefficient of here, yeah, be conscious of what you have. Because if this is a cubic equation, it means there should be a value for m squared. Please observe it. You see there is no value for m squared here, but it does not mean that it does not exist. So what it means is that this can also be written as, we can also write this as m cubed, plus 0m squared, did you see, plus 5m minus 42 is equal to 0. This is still the same as this, okay? So remember, now to work with the coefficients, the coefficient here is 1, so we're going to have 1 here. Then for the next one is 0, you see, the next is 5. Then you also pick the constant, okay? So for the constant, you have negative 42. Amazing. Now, what do you put here? You are going to put this first value of m you have gotten as 3. So that is what will be here. Now, watch. What do you do with this? The first to do is to bring down this one. So we bring it down. Watch. You see one here. Now, the rule to this method is when you multiply, you add. So we're going to be multiplying and adding at the same time. So watch. 
we're going to now use this three, use this three to multiply this one. Okay. When three multiplies one, it gives you three. Did you see that? Then you add zero plus three will give you three. You write it down here. Interesting. Repeat it again. Use three to multiply this three. It will give you nine. You write it under this. Okay. So what you do here is to add now. This plus this will give us 14. So we have 14 here. Repeat the cycle again. Multiply. So use three to multiply 14. And when you multiply this, it gives you 42. Okay. You now add. And when you add this two, it's going to give you zero. Did you see? Now this zero is the remainder, meaning that this value is the solution to this. It's one of the solutions. Okay. Meaning it's also a factor. Okay. If you now have it, add M, subtract M from both sides, it becomes a factor. So at this point, what do you do? We are going to now place the variables accordingly. Okay. To do that, we are going to have, remember, what we use to divide is when M is three. And you know, if M is equal to three, if you subtract three from both sides, you have N minus three. Okay. And M minus three is equal to zero. So we now say that M minus three becomes a what? A factor. Whereas M equal to three becomes a zero or what we call the root. I hope that is clear or what you can also call the solution. So in that case, it means that if I use M minus three to divide this, when you use M to divide M cube, it gives you M squared. I hope that is clear. So what it means is that for this one, the variable that should be attached to it should be M squared, followed by M, followed by this one now is a constant. So in that case, if you bring it down, you are going to have this will give you m squared, and this will give you 3m, that's plus 3m, and the constant is plus 14. So what it means is that we are now going to solve this, and this has led us to a quadratic because the highest power of m is 2, and this should be equal to 0 since we are solving equation. So to solve this, we can choose any convenient method, okay? We are going to use the formula method. Remember, for your formula method, you are giving ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. This is the general quadratic equation. And the solution to the x is given as negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay? If you want to know more about quadratic equation, I will leave a link in the comments. So what it means is that the value you put in the formula are this numbers so for m squared it is your the coefficient here is a and what is the coefficient of m squared here is one did you see it so it means that our a will be one then your b is the coefficient of x so the coefficient of m here is three it means that our b will be three now what will be our c our c is the constant which will give us what 14 so we plug it into this formula and we are going to have our m will be equal to, remember, this is what we have. So our m will now be equal to negative, our b will be what? 3. So we have negative 3 plus or minus square root of, then our a, remember, this is still b, so it becomes 3 squared minus. This will give us 4. Our a is 1. And our c is 14. Interesting. All over. 2, we multiply our a is one, okay? So we simplify. To do that, we are going to have m is equal to negative three plus or minus three squared is three times three to give us nine. And this will give us, uh, you multiply this, it will give us 56. Then all over, multiply this, it gives you two. So what you have here now is we are having m is equal to negative three plus or minus if you subtract this, it gives us uh, 56, 9. We have um, 47, okay? And it's negative 47. So what we're going to have here is for subtracting this, we have negative 47. Now, what do you do? And this is all over 2. You observe that there is a negative sign inside the square root. 
And each time you have a negative sign inside the square root, that value has now become a complex so solution. So we have m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. Then for fourth, negative 47 is the same as negative 1 multiplying 47 all over 2. And remember, if you have square root of a multiplying b, it is the same as square root of a multiplied like this. Okay, you can split it. So apply this here. We're going to have m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1, then multiply by square root of 47 all over 2. Now remember that this neg square root of negative 1, we use an imaginary unit for it, and that is i. So i is always negative 1, square root of negative 1. So replace this with this. We are going to have m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus i multiplied by square root of 47 all over 2. Now, 47 is a prime number. Nothing else can divide this. So this is the simplified form. So in that case, we are, can, we are going to have m is negative 3, then plus i square root of 47 all over 2. This is another solution for m. Then we also have m as negative 3. Then we take the negative value, i square root of 47 all over 2. This is the third solution. And remember also that we have it that m is equal to 3. So you see that we have gotten three solutions for this particular equation, like we said at the beginning. These two are the ones we call the complex solution, okay? So these two are complex, and this is what real, whereas these two are complex solution. And I hope this helps you a lot. Let's know how much in the comments. Remember, sharing this helps the algorithm to catch it and send it to more people that need it. Subscribe for the more you can get and see you in our next class. Bye-bye.